Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate real GDP. With that said, let's get into it. So when you're calculating real GDP, you need to be mindful of two different years, and that's the base year, and then the year you're trying to calculate for. So in this example, we have 2015 noted as the base year, and the current year is 2025. And you'll notice that I have four products, burgers, tacos, pasta, and ice cream. And then I have all of the quantities and prices that correspond to both the base year and the current year or the year that I'm trying to calculate. So with a table like this, if I was asked to calculate what the real GDP is, then I just need to follow this simple formula. And that is the real GDP is equal to the current year's quantity or the year you're trying to calculate times the base year's price. And you'll always know what the year you're trying to calculate and what the base year are because they have to be given in the question. And so in this table, you can see that the base year's price is denoted by this column right here. And the current year's quantity is denoted by this column right here. And all I need to do to calculate their values is to multiply them together. So I'll start with burgers. So I have $2.50, which was the base year, 2015's price for burgers, and I multiply it by the 2025 quantity, which is 1,575. So 250 times 1575 is equal to $3,937.50. For tacos, it's a little bit easier. I simply have $1 times 4,520, which is 4,520. And then for past, I have $10 times 850, which is 8,500. And then finally for ice cream, I have $2 times 1,750 units, which gives me a total of 3,500. Now you'll notice that for the calculation, you don't actually consider the base year's quantity or the current year's prices. All you're concerned with is base year price, current year, or the year you're trying to calculate quantity. The other stuff is completely useless in this calculation. It's useful in other calculations, just not this one. Once I have all of my values, again, just by multiplying the price times quantity of those two years, then I can just sum them all up. And in this case, that total is $20,457.50. Now, once again, it's worth reminding you, we have other videos on the channel that look at different examples, calculating real GDP, nominal GDP, and then also something called the GDP deflator. So if that's something you're interested in, I can leave a link to those videos in the description. Check them out if you wanna see another example with maybe different numbers. And of course, if you have any questions about any of the calculations done in this video, then please just leave a comment and either I will answer them or someone else will answer them for you. And we can make sure that you understand it very holistically. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.